Class is now in session. I'm Fraser Hockey, and today we'll be discussing some San Jose Sharks news, and that is that they have finally signed newly acquired goaltender Aiden Hill, who they got from the Arizona Coyotes a few weeks ago, to a new contract worth $2.175 million per year for two years. It was announced just a couple of days ago that he was going to be going to arbitration unless, of course, the Sharks and him could decide on a contract prior to that arbitration date, and that's exactly what they managed to do here today. In terms of the years, this is actually a very solid deal for the San Jose Sharks. Two years makes a lot of sense for a player like Aiden Hill, who does have a bit of NHL experience, but certainly not a ton of NHL experience, and certainly not as a starter, which looks like he will not necessarily necessarily be next season but he'll at the very least get a good 30 to 40 games if not a good amount more than that going into the next season sharing the net with James Reimer so two years seems very fair what is also good for the Sharks with this two years is that the Sharks actually have a decent amount of solid goaltending prospects who can be making some progress over these next couple of seasons a player like Milnashuk might be relatively close to making it to the NHL so having Aiden Hill just on this two-year deal and then at the end of the deal sort of re-evaluating where the Sharks are goaltending wise will be very very solid for them. In terms of cap space and in terms of how much of you know the dollar amount of this deal, 2.175 also seems to be pretty fair for what Aiden Hill is bringing to the table. As you know, we can just take a look as a previous example with Martin Jones, who was a goaltender who also was acquired from another team who was sort of a backup at the time, had very little NHL experience, but was hopeful to come in to be a starter in a starter role. And at the time, the Sharks signed him for three years at three million dollars so the sharks give Aiden Hell about a million less than that and this seems like a pretty fair deal. This actually also leaves the San Jose Sharks with about $3.4 million in terms of cap space, which means they could technically make another move here during this offseason. But what is more likely is that they carry this cap space into the season. And then at the trade deadline, for instance, they might be able to do what they did this past year, where they use the cap space asset to acquire some draft picks from certain teams that are more cap strapped, who are trying to make some crazy deadline deals. As I said, they did this last year with the likes of the Vegas Gold. The Knights assisting them in getting Matthias Janmark and as well as helping out the Toronto Maple Leafs in getting Nick Foligno. There is technically the very very off chance the Sharks are going to try and make a playoff push of their own at the deadline next season and they can use this cap space to try and acquire some sort of rental player but that's basically a one in a million chances. I don't think the Sharks especially with what we know in these past couple of days what has happened with some of these Sharks players or one Sharks player in particular uh, cough cough Evander Kane it is very unlikely the Sharks will be making any sort of playoff push so this cap space will likely be used as an asset to acquire more draft picks at the trade deadline is my best guess but in the end a very solid offseason from Doug Wilson in signing players that are going to be helping out the Sharks here or there at least from the you know factors that the Sharks can control class dismissed